Welcome back, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all my beautiful air signs. I am so excited for your reading today, so let's get started. I want to say a big welcome back to all my subscribers. If this is your first time here and you like fun original content with a spiritual twist, go down and click subscribe so you never miss a reading. Also, if you need a private reading, you can go to my website, lizzamorski.com, and I'll get you all sorted. I do have an, announce an announcement to make. Um, I'm changing the format of my readings again. I've been going through a lot of transition lately, and I'm... Basic, I feel like my readings have been suffering. Like my energy is being expended on being a one woman production studio where, you know, with every reading I'm filming, I'm editing, I'm taking high resolution photos of each of the cards. I'm having to Photoshop them, put them in. Like this is all a lot of detail, but I've just realized that I felt like the readings have started becoming a burden for me to produce. And, but I do feel called to continue giving readings i feel so filled up my mission with all of these readings is to transform your perception of your personal power and i feel like that's still my mission but i'm not able to achieve that mission when i've got all this other five hours of fluff surrounding each reading like it's been dragging me down my spirit is suffering and so i've just decided like i'm just going to give you the clear reading i feel like this is going to really free me up to have my energy flowing a lot differently because i'm not thinking about like all the hours of work after the 15 minute reading. So I hope you understand, you're so more than welcome to stay here and I just really look forward to this change. So what I've done today is before I got on camera, when I was like meditating over the decks, is that I pulled you a traditional Celt Celtic, sorry, I pulled you a cell, I pulled you a Celtic cross spread. So I'm gonna go through that now. I used um, The Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed and I'm really excited about what I see on the table. So I'm just going to start walking you through the energy that I'm seeing for you and how you're moving forward because you are definitely moving. First of all, the first card that I pulled out just like a general clarifier for the whole spread was Queen of Swords. And this is you, baby. You are the Queen of Swords. This is an air sign. She is full of hope. She knows where she's going. She's conquering. She's going to new shores. She's thoughtful, she's working with her intuition, but she is like steady and she is ready. And so, you know, she's all of you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. She's a visionary, she's balanced, she's fair, she's just, but she's also moving forward. And that's why I was like, okay, you're definitely moving. Um, I pulled you a spirit guide animal as well. Number 36, koi fish spirit. There is always enough. And what this makes me think of, first of all, it's a nine energy, so you're coming to the end of a cycle, but also, you know, just knowing that you always have enough to be where you're supposed to be. Like, stop worrying about whether you're going to have enough resources to attain your vision and this and this. Like, there's always enough. And I think of the koi fish ponds that are outside of restaurants sometimes, and just how beautiful and how calming that is. And the koi fish may or may not know that they're in an artificial pond because they're just living life, they're together, they're getting the food that they need. Um, I just see like this beautiful abundance, like you know that you ha you will always have enough to be where you're supposed to be. So then in the Celtic cross, where you're at now, king of water. This is the king of cups. This is knowing that you have abundance. This is steady, intuitive energy. Like you are sitting in your seat of power, the king. You're not the page of cups. You're not the, the knight of cups. You're the king of cups, which means that you're one step away from that ace, which is just that never ending fountain of abundance. So I feel like this king of water really has to do with this koi spirit here is that like, you know that there's always enough. And if there seems to be not enough, you know how to get it. You know how to manifest it, you know. So I just think that's super beautiful, high energy for you crossing you, your challenge. Number 16, the tower. So your challenge right now is letting the old things that need to go, go. You've been holding on to some things that are, that are holding you back. And if you really truly are going to sit in the king's throne, in the king's seat, the king does not bother himself with like old trash. He's not sitting in his throne room, like surrounded by heaps of newspapers. I'm thinking of like a hoarder, like, 
oh my gosh, my chin, I'm sorry, like I keep doing this. Maybe this means something to you, but my chin, my jawline is so itchy right now. What is going on with that? So I was just like, I need to just give it one good itch and like acknowledge it and we're done. Um, but you take it on the chin, I just heard. But so I feel, you know, a king is not going to sit on his throne surrounded by trash bags full of old clothes and new stacks of newspapers and like 2,000 cats. And, you know, the throne room is clean. It's It has room to allow energy in, discussions, brainstorming, heaps of gold. You know, all the people of the court can come and converse with him. You know, like, so I'm just hearing like this tower is actually like your challenge is to clear out the garbage. I do feel like it's not just like mind garbage. You know, it could be a metaphor for that. But I feel like it's physical spring cleaning. You need to spring clean. Get it all out. Dump it out. So that way you can make room in your throne room for like the riches to come in. The new ideas. The edicts. The things you need to sign off on. People coming and pleading their case for you. Bringing you gifts. They're not going to come into your throne room bringing you gifts and beautiful like fruit baskets and stuff if they walk in and they're like oh my god there's 2,000 cats here like how am I gonna navigate around the newspapers like you need a clean slate clean clean open area in your recent pa or um yeah recent past you've been really I got eight of pentacles eight of earth so I feel like in your recent past you've been really working to Perfect something, build something, string your violin. I'm seeing like there's something you were you were really working hard. No, gran we call it in Swedish, but like you were really working hard to like be very technical and build something piece by piece by piece by piece. Like you've worked long and hard to build this castle, to build this thing. Get rid of the newspapers. I keep coming back to that, but like get rid of them. Then in your dis like in your six month um, wait what am I saying yeah six months to a year in the past seven of fire seven of wands also there's a lot of fire energy in here so that either means that I feel like you're it could mean that you're um, paired up with like Aries Leo Sagittarius or like you've just been lit I feel like it's more like you've been lit by the fire of inspiration and like it's spreading like wildfire. Your air, fire needs air too. So it's like you've taken this spark and because you're an air sign, you're just feeding that spark until it's becoming like a full on forest fire of ideas and love and abundance. But the seven of fire, seven of wands, this is like maintaining, maintaining the things you already have. It's not about like striving and attaining, it's about maintaining, defending your realm, defending your castle, being up at the top and being like, this is all mine. Don't F with me. Um, in your, the thing crowning you, queen of fire. This is the queen of wands. And she is just like one of these royals who is so comfortable and confident with who she is. She's like, when I think of queen of wands, I think of this image of like, a woman so happy in her element, part life of the party, and she doesn't just like have her wand. She's not sitting on her throne with her wand. She's like waving the wand in the air like she just don't care. And so crowning you, like what, what you can be is being that royal who's waving your wand in the air like you just don't freaking care because it's party time. You've built this, you've got this, you're maintaining it. You know you're a royal, you know your power. You've cleaned out the clutter. Maybe you have two cats now, you know? The other thing coming for you is page of air. This is also um, you, but it's the page of swords. And so I'm just seeing like, this is all about like that movement, that abund again, the abundance. The abundance, the abundance, where you're just like, hey, it's a lot of arms up, motion that I'm seeing in my head like wave around like you just don't care party people wave their hands in the air <laughs> okay <laughs> so I feel like you know this page of air is just like we've got it all we're moving forward <laughs> how you see yourself ten of fire girl man you're just burning down the house burning down the house you're letting the old stuff go and you're like, 
I've carried this burden for too long. You're letting it go. It's that tower moment. My king, my queen, let the tower go. How you're seeing yourself is someone capable of letting all that stuff go. And congratulations, you need it. The resources that are here, two of earth, that's two of pentacles. So it's like you're going to have the balanced resources, the things that you need coming in. You're going to have stability. You're going to have a good foundation. You're going to have the... Uh, the, resor the resources, the things, the people that you need, you're going to become a magnet to them. But in order to be the magnet, what do you got to do? Clean out the cats. You know, like, let again, in order to be a clean slate magnet that can actually, like, a, a magnet can't attract the things to it if there's the stacks of newspapers in the way. So clear that stuff out. Let your force start pulling the abundance towards you. Then we've got um, your hopes and fears, three of fire, three of wands. Your fear is that you're moving in the wrong direction is what I'm getting from this. It's like, you know you're moving, you know you have to clean out, you know you have what you need, you're gonna have your moments. That's where you, you believe and you're firm in like, this is what you gotta do, that's where you're going. But you're worried about that you don't know how to get there or that you're going the wrong way to get there. But the outcome, the new thing is six of air, six of swords. So it's like, don't worry. These are two ships. So like your fear is that you're traveling in the wrong direction. But don't worry because the wind is actually in your sails. You are moving in the right direction. You are starting a new journey. You are moving. You are going. And you're going to get to this beautiful, bountiful moment. I need to pull a clarifier. Like, where are you headed to? I just want to see. I just want to see. I just got to see. So I'm using the Light Seer's Tarot to pull you a clarifier. Where are we headed? Where's these air signs headed? Where are these ships taking them? Ugh, the magician. They're taking you to your ultimate power of manifestation. So it's like, it doesn't, the details don't matter. It just needs to decide what to be and go be it, I'm hearing. Avid Brothers song. Queen of Cups. That's, you're getting like... All the queens are coming out. Three of wands. Three of wands. Yes. This was that three of fire. So your three of wands is clarifying the three of wands. Trust that you trust that you do know which direction you're going in. Trust that the decision you've made to manifest is all you have to do. You don't have to stay on the shore. You can get in the boat. It's going to take you where you need to go. You don't have to make, have the plan. You don't have to have all the details. Queen of Cups. She's also got her hands off the cup. She's just like, her head's back. She's like, I trust my intuition. I trust that my intuition is going to take me where I want to go. All you have to do is like set the GPS coordinates. Like, I want to go there. This is the life I want, full of joy, full of opportunity, full of abundance, full of my family that makes me feel really freaking good. Put in those GPS coordinates, 24.67 by 32.8, and then just let your hands go off. Trust that you're being guided to go there. Seven of Pentacles also came out. Yeah, you have the power to grow these things. You have the power to grow. You need to be patient. Give it water. Give it sunlight. Give it room. But that tower, but you have the power to manifest this. So do not get caught up in this, I don't know how, and uh, limiting beliefs, holding you back. You can do this. You're the magician right now. You can make manifest all of your dreams. I believe so deeply in you. I am so excited for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. This felt really good for me, for one. Like I felt just like I could really channel this to you and not hold back. But I'm so excited about this journey you're on. Trust yourself. Clear out the cats. Move forward. You got this. I love you so much with all my heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, air signs!